All right. Just wanted to show you guys on this stick tin I'm building. I always mount my servos and I just did the, the push rods before putting the top on. Always leave that open until you got your rods run through. I also cover everything I can before I glue the tail on. I'm halfway through the covering here. But here you can see the tail is done. It's already hinged, but it's not glued. Don't glue any of those in either until, you know, here's the rudder and, and the tail. That way when you put it on, you don't have to cover it with it on the airplane. It's so much easier to do it this way. But I just wanted to show you that about this little stick tin I'm building and stay tuned and we'll get it finished and flying. Alright, well I wanted to shoot a quick video on this little stick tin. Every single part on it, every part, came from eBay, including the kit. This is how it's supposed to be set up. Gas and a single wing servo. But as you can see, I did the servo in the wings. Connectors, the cheap ones. Just put a dot of super glue on that set screw and on that rod where it meets the connector. You won't have any problems with them. Make sure you use seal tubing to secure it to the horn, the control horn, because these cheap ones tend to pop apart. That'll save your airplane right there. Now this kit, this is all it came with. One sheet with instructions on the fuse and the back side of the instructions for the wing that is all they give you they don't give you any plans to lay your parts out on this kits cut really really good to where everything lined up great but it's not for the beginner this one I got off of eBay for $68 I think was shipping ended up being $88 total. That was a good deal. That was that was the low end. Uh, one of these went the next day or two after that for close to a hundred bucks. So I got a pretty good deal on that. Went all electric with it. Put the uh, A2212 10T 1400 kb motor the 30 amp ESC again all from eBay well, 30 amp ESC I put the servos in the fuse where they are supposed to go and I covered my receiver with foam which a lot of people don't do nowadays that'll save you a lot of problems and money Keep your receiver packed in foam. In case the plane hits the ground, your receiver will be fine. This is the cheap, I believe, knockoff receivers. Works with Spectrum radios just fine. I've had these receivers for a couple of years now. Bought a pack of two of them for $33 on eBay. 33 to 35 you can find them definitely below 40 for two, which is a steal. The full range receivers, you'll never have an issue. Even the hinges I got off of eBay. Covered my tail surfaces and my ailerons before ever putting them on the wing. Again, the covering I got off of eBay too. A great little build. Ran the motor on the amp meter. Pulled 13 amps on a 30 amp PSC at full throttle, which is pretty good. Gives us plenty of margin. But again, this is the kit. Keep your eye out for it on eBay. It's a great little kit. Goes together quick. I built this inside of a week.
We're going to go out and fly it now that the wind quit blowing here, finally. It's been blowing for almost a month straight. We'll go out and see how it flies. Hey, thanks for checking it out. Definitely like and subscribe. It really helps us out.